So Tai Sabaki means body management. And what we do in order to get our mind and body together is we combine language with body uh, balance experiments. So we're going to put our right side forward so that it points, and our left side back so that it crosses. And we're going to go as far forward with our balance as we can so that we can move the back foot without the head wobbling. Try that. So you want your head to stay straight up so that you can have all your balance in one foot. And then put yourself all the way back, and you want to be able to lift your front foot without your head wobbling. That's the challenge. So you can go as wide in your feet as you can go all the way forward with your balance and move your back foot, or all the way back and move your front foot. All the way forward, move your back. All the way back, move your front. Let's do it on both sides, so also get rid of the front. We're figuring out how wide our stance or hanmi can be. All the way forward, move your back. All the way back, move your front. And then you can rock your balance back and forth. And the job is to move forward and you lift your back foot, nothing moves. And when you're back, your balance doesn't change. Do you feel how you're lifting? Yeah. yeah. So the challenge is com really comfortable on one foot. So that way, every time you take a step, rather than cutting your support in half, you're doubling your support every time you put your foot down because you're used to only having one foot on your balance. So let's all get the right side forward. And then when we get what the object is, to have one vertical line of balance that we can trust only to one foot, then you can move one foot with no balance in it, thereby not potentially upsetting yourself. And I mean that emotionally as well as physically, because it's upsetting to be out of balance. So you can, for instance, open and close your hip, knee, and toe combination, and there's no weight there, so that your body doesn't have to move when you do it. You're just moving the hip, knee, and the toe. Because all your weight's on that foot. So when you want to pivot and turn and look behind you, rather than doing it just with your face, you can do it with by closing the hip, taking the knee over the toe, shifting your balance, and opening the hip. And again, close the front, shift your weight by knee over the toe, and open your other foot. And you've pivoted without losing your balance. Pivot. And let your hands match your feet, and pivot. So we let our hands match our feet. Okay, so now let's go back and let's add the words to it. So when we're just standing, the psychological state that you're wanting, the words are, I am here. When you say, I am here. I am here. here. Listen, and then to, to continue the exercise, bring all your weight forward, bring your back foot forward, shift your hips and your shoulders, and take the other foot back. So you can change and then take your balance back. So you can move your balance from side to side without losing it, without letting your head wobble. And say, I am here. I am here. In your front hand, let the fingertips go up and the blade go far, like you were about to throw a soccer ball in from out of bounds or basketball. So you want that. Like someone said, is that a soccer ball you You said, oh yeah, so you want to look at it? So not out there, but right there. Because yeah. your hands have to match in the sense of the distance in between them, so that your shoulders and your hips also match. So when you shift far, bring your foot up, shoot the other foot back by opening the hip, and shift your weight back. And the attitude is, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Awesome. Now, so we're going to do that twice. You're on your right side, you're going to bring your back foot up, and shift your right foot back, and you just change the sides. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And one more time. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Now we're going to do that same thing, but we're going to step to the side so we get out of the way of whatever's heading our direction. So we'll step to the side, wait forward, close the hip, but let it go far out to the side, pull the knee over the toe, and you move yourself out of the way of whatever. Mm -hmm. And you say, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. me. Because you just got out of the way. And on the other side, wide reach. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. One more time. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. me. And excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, now let's come back to the middle again. So come back to where you were when we started. And now we're going to go directly in and we're going to step. And the job is to bend your knees and relax your weight and then shoot far away. Step, step. The right foot first? Yep. Boom, boom. 
Because in, 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 when you're attached to somebody, you're going to be moving the foot forward without your weight and then pulling your knee over your toe. Remember, that's how we're moving in general. So let's back up a little bit. And move forward by bending your knee, shooting the foot, and pulling yourself forward. You're entering. In Japanese, irimi. I-R-I-M, not irimi. And you're entering directly in. So pull yourself forward. Pull yourself forward. Okay, and go back again. There's another way to go far that's a little faster. In Japanese, it's called tsukuri. And I like to think of it as paired with the English word scurry, even though it probably isn't. Don't know the etymology of that. And the job is you firm your back leg, and then you drop your weight into it so you bounce forward. So rather than leaning your head, which is how most people move, and then catch up with your feet, you're dropping yourself into a firm leg and that's propelling you forward because the knee bends and it stops. Mm -hmm. And the words for this is, I'm in, because you are in fact going in. Mm -hmm. So you're here and you go in. Shoot. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. And again. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Now let's go back and go to the other side. Shift. Shift. Mm. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. Yep. Then go back to the other side. Okay. So, I'm in is just that kind of squirting forward. You drop your weight into a firm leg and shoot, you propose you forward. So, you're not leaning, you're either pulling or you're shooting as one piece. The next thing is who's there? And it will be that sudden pivot that we can evolve you. Who's there? And what you're doing is, you're taking your weight, you're closing the front, and you're zipping around and taking your knee over your toe. So all your weight's in that. So close, zip, close, zip. Like you're saying, who's there? Like someone said, boom, right behind you. Mm -hmm. Who's there? 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 So, if you combine I'm in with who's there, you end up behind someone should they have been facing you. Does that make sense? So, if Julian was facing me and I do I'm in and who's there, I end up behind him. Not here, but here. Does that make sense? So, we were practicing a turning in behind the person and if they're your friend, it will feel lovely because you can put a hand on their, on their back and comfort them. You're behind them all the way in that sense. If they're not your friend, it should cause them a little discomfort because suddenly you're behind them, which is the idea. So here we are. And we'll do I'm in, and who's there is I'm behind you. Shoot. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. So as far as you can go, I'm behind you. 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 So it's the I'm in. Sure. I'm yeah. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Yep. And depending on your intentions and how they feel about you, that can either be a lovely thing they feel great about, or it could be something that makes them uncomfortable, makes them want to go oh, over there. And if they turn to it, turn toward you, that's part of the self-defense part of it. Alright, next one. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. You'll want to take the foot that's forward and close it like you're going to pivot. But then instead, as you take your knee over the toe, you sweep the other foot around and face the other direction. So you're going to close the front hip and sweep the back foot. Close, sweep, close, sweep, close, sweep, close, sweep. In Japanese, tenkan, or body turn. Okay, let's go to the other side. And we'll say, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. So you're keeping your ear, when you're, when you're with a person and you're doing this as an exercise, your ear will now be right next to their mouth. You'll be standing beside them. But you're also paying attention to all the area around you. Not in that I'm looking for trouble sort of way, but in that I'm hearing, I'm perceiving everything that's going on around me that the soft focus in your vision has. So one more time. Close the front. Seat. I'm listening. I'm listening. Other side. 
I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. And again, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. So listening is a 360 degree experience, not a, I'm focusing on you and can't hear anything else going on, because one of the ways that the self-defense informs the kind of listening that you're ready to bring to someone else. You're listening to everything, not just the stuff that you're focused on. Mm -hmm. Next thing, ready? We just closed our foot to move, now we're gonna open our hip to move. And what do you see is an opening followed by Two more steps that take you around all the way. One, two. Open in front. Take the knee over the toe and step one, two, because you continue training. And we're going to say, what do you see? Because all of these things that we're talking about, there's a fantasy that there's a partner ahead of you. They can see what's behind you, the stuff that's not immediately apparent to you. The person who's directly facing you can see all of your backstory metaphorically all the stuff behind you that's not really your awareness. So the question is, what do you see? So you turn to see what they can see. Let's try it again. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Open your foot. One, two. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Now let's talk about it. Open the foot. One, two. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Open. One, two. What do you see? What do you see? Now, when, you, when this is something that needs to happen very quickly, you don't even bother to open the front foot. You close your hips, transfer your weight, open your hips, and you turn on the back. So mm -hmm. to speak. So this is more like we're back to the boo feeling. Mm -hmm. Boo. Where? And you're all the way around. Mm -hmm. Where? Someone has said, behind you. And you said, where? Because notice the difference in my body between behind you, where? <laughs> At which point you're still ready to be hit by whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And the movement of your body, which turns you instantly to face the other direction while keeping your balance. Mm -hmm. where? 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 So, the last thing we'll do mm -hmm. is we'll combine these. One after the other. So I'll do it first, and then you follow. How about that? Great. Okay. So let's stand with our right foot forward and our left foot back. And say, I'm here. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? I'm behind you. 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 I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. No, no, the left foot was all the way around. Oh, there you go. Close the front so you can back. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Open the front. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? And without telegraphing, without opening the front mouth, turn around. Where? 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 